This video will contain images and depictions of recreational drug use that some may find disturbing. Use of diphenhydramine, also known as Benadryl, is widely known to produce disturbing and negative experiences. Don't do this drug, please. I also want to preface this video by saying that even though DPH users tend to be quite aware about the potential self-harming nature of their drug use and make many memes and jokes about it, this still is a relatively serious topic. Some people struggle with diphenhydramine addictions, some others accidentally overdose and die. Others use it to intentionally take their own lives. It's important to understand that not only can this drug harm you mentally, it can also harm you physically. If you have a desire to try it after this video, simply don't do it. Most users you can find and even talk to in the subreddit will tell you to stay away from it. So, what is DPH? Well, diphenhydramine is an antihistamine used to treat allergies, insomnia, nausea, and even tremors from Parkinson's disease. In many places, you can get it over the counter and it's a common product in many households. Despite widespread availability and use of this drug, many people don't know about how it functions in higher doses or that long-term use, even in therapeutic doses, is associated with a high risk of dementia. DPH is an anticholinergic agent, meaning it blocks acetylcholine from correctly functioning in your brain. Acetylcholine is an important neurotransmitter known to regulate muscle movement, and it plays a part in your memory, sleep, attention, central nervous system, and more. When it's used in higher doses, DPH functions as what we call a deliriant. It's a subclass of hallucinogenic drugs that's known to be a less lucid experience than typical psychedelics, meaning it can be harder to distinguish between reality and the trip. Typical characteristics of a delirium experience include confusion, memory deficits, dysphoria, and realistic visual hallucinations. Many people who take these drugs do not enjoy their experiences and never seek to do it again, making them very unpopular as recreational drugs. If you're curious to learn more about the chemistry of DPH, I'll leave my sources in the video description. Let's go off script here for a bit. I've been really interested by this community and this subreddit for a long time. They have a really interesting sense of humor, but despite the humor that they use to cope, you know that they know that something's wrong with this. They know that, I mean, they end up having memory issues and they make all these cryptic memes about it. And there's even this phenomenon that's really interesting where they call the hat man. Apparently a pretty common experience of people that use it in the subreddit is that they see this figure while they're tripping and they have dubbed it the hat man and sort of this tall lanky guy just wearing a hat and it's kind of creepy when you think about it. It makes me wonder if someone seeing it on this like in their vision on the subreddit one time posted that and sort of implanted the idea into people's head that this exists and then all of a sudden it becomes more of a phenomenon because more people their brain kind of subconsciously makes them see it one thing that a lot of these subreddits do that i like and respect is that they make guides on how to do the drug but they're very very disclaimered right like the guides are not made to incentivize you to do it the guides are made because they know that people are going to do it anyways so that they want people to be safe while they do it so I think that guides like this are very important, even if they seem like they're leading people in the wrong direction. In my opinion, they're not leading people down that path, they're just making sure they stay safe while they do it. The guide literally starts out with this paragraph. Diphenhydramine, DPH, Benadryl. For most people, it's either an actively terrible experience or just a very strange one. Everywhere you look online for information about it, the reports are pretty uniform. I felt like shit, saw spiders everywhere, and you shouldn't do it. My report below is pretty similar, but I tried to put as much helpful information in it as I could. This was the first quote unquote real drug I ever did, besides smoking weed, and it's influenced my life quite a bit. Not in a good way though. Even the guy who's willing to go out of his way to make a guide on how to do this starts it out with, hey, don't do this, basically. 
The guide is really in-depth and mainly focused on harm reduction, telling you what the drug is, what drugs not to take with it at the same time, what to expect, listing off all the side effects and any addiction potential. Basically, it's a pretty useful slash, I think, important guide. But I wanted to check out these statistics that they have in it. They seem pretty accurate, but I can't really find a source for them. It seems like they might have done some kind of survey of DPH users at some point and gotten these answers back, but I can't find it, so take this with a grain of salt. But I thought they were still interesting anyways. The most common effects of using DPH are dry mouth, restless legs, tachycardia or a fast heart rate, dizziness, difficulty urinating, muscle spasms, temporary erectile dysfunction, itchiness, nausea, high blood pressure, muscle cramps, seizures, a heart attack, and a stroke. If I had to guess, this data was probably community crowdsourced, so it's actually probably pretty accurate for people who use the drug on a recreational basis and would browse a subreddit like this. But the hallucinations are the interesting ones. The most common side effects here are visual drifting, seeing spiders or insects, hearing familiar or unfamiliar voices, hearing doors creaking, having music be a little amplified and better, seeing shadow people, seeing ghosts, demons, or oh, oh god no, oh god no, not the hat man! I think the most interesting thing about this drug that's probably gathered my attention and the attention of a lot of others for a long time is just the visual distortions of it and the hallucinations and how kind of, how kind of crazy and wild they are. How there's a drug that's addicting yet one of the most common things that happens on it is people see a shit ton of spiders everywhere. It just doesn't really seem to add up. So from someone like me, who's a lot more invested and in, interested in the psychedelic community, seeing something like this, seeing the Deliriant, is a lot more interesting, because the only other really big one that you know of, that you hear of, is Salvia Divinorum. I want to get better at making sort of, I'd call them investigative videos like this, and I think I need to get a little bit better at my storytelling and gathering my thoughts before I finish. But I think just making videos on topics that I find interesting like this has a lot of potential, so I appreciate you for watching. I know I've got a lot to improve on, but if you want to follow me on this journey, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. This is Bryce, signing off. I hope you have a wonderful night.